Recently, I came across an interesting project out of Harvard, Disney Research, Columbia University, and MIT. And it made these zoolophone shapes. And these are tuned shapes, which are water jet cut out of aluminum. And they're, each one has a specific key. And it can be played like a xylophone. Now, you can see the parts I made here. I ended up balancing these shapes on small squares of EVA foam. This is a little different than the way they did it. I had tried these tacks to get a better sound, uh, also wood blocks and even little pieces of felt, um, but nothing really worked as well as the EVA foam. And I just cut that out with a pair of scissors. Now I had found out that the original creators of this project had actually used a open cell foam and put the supports around the outer edges of the pieces and that's how they got good sound but I didn't have much luck putting the EVA foam anywhere but the center of the pieces. You'll also notice that my shapes vary slightly from the original specifications from the original project and also I changed the temper of the aluminum, but I don't really think that either of these changes affected the overall sound of the pieces that much. Let's take a listen in here. That's the original scale that you can hear. You'll notice that there's two shapes that are labeled E. One is an elephant looking thing and one is a anteater looking thing. And these were based on different optimization parameters that were used in the original project. One other thing that I noticed is that the shapes, when they're hung from a small string, uh, also resonate with their tuned frequency. So you're able to actually pick them all up and make some chords. So I made this set of wind chimes, which makes a C major chord, which is just uh, C, E, and G together.